Would you please welcome back to the stage director, Michael Mann. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, thank you for that thrilling and deeply emotional film. I thought we thank might you. start um, by talking about the book that it's based on. And um, this is the biography of Ferrari from 1991. Why did you focus on a specific period of Ferrari's life for this film? The, um, uh, because within, that, within those three months of 1957, uh, all, the, all the dynamics of uh, his situation, his circumstances, his relationship with Laura, the discovery by Laura of Lena Lardy, the problems with uh, identifying, you know, acknowledging his son, bankruptcy, all converged in, in, in actuality in that three month period. And um, so that, that's the drama, you know, so that, that's, why, that's, why, that's why that period. I wouldn't have been interested in it if it was a linear biopic or something. And in terms of the cast, the cast are wonderful, um, but Adam Driver in this central role, it's a very physical and emotional role. Can you tell us about working with him on this film? The preparation really involves really understanding everything about Enzo Ferrari starting from the beginning. And he's, uh, um, he's a very, he, he was a very romantic figure. He is, is uh, there's a reference to uh, 1917 when he applied for a job. What actually happened, he got turned down his father had died a year earlier. His brother had died. Terrible circumstances. And um, uh, he was bereft, sitting on a bench in the rain in Turin, as he describes it. And he asks himself at that moment in time, who shall I be in this world? And that notion is a tremendously romantic idea that he could, that he could, that he could transcend his circumstances, particularly in a static class hierarchy like Italy at that, that moment in time, and with absolutely no means move himself into what was, you know, probably one of the most romantic things you can do with your life at that moment in time, which is be a race car driver. It's kind of like being an astronaut in 1970. And that core of, um, of seeking and, and moving forward, uh, particularly in this period of time that this takes place, uh, puts him at, at this uh, kind of a wonderful counterpoint, dramatically, a counterpoint to uh, to Lara. They're both in a state of grief. They're in individual silos. Uh, she's uh, kind of locked in a prison of the past and cannot move forward into the present, but is certain of all her judgments on all things. Enzo, aspirational, is looking into the future. He's insecure. He sees enemies everywhere. And, um, uh, you know, and that's, and, and uh, when he was asked in those, this time, you know, what was your favorite car? It's always the next one. Everything was always the next. And so they're in, the, in this kind of pre-psychological state in individual silos. They never really will connect. And that irreconcilability to me is what was so fascinating. And this is a long way around, but the, the understanding of the impulses of Enzo, that's where, where Adam and I began. Then there's a tremendous amount of detail uh, in the way Adam works and in the way I work in terms of preparation and movement and breathing and observation and uh, understanding the magic of internal combustion, which sounds absurd right now, but it is magical from that period of time. Um, and, um, you know, and a massive amount of cooperation uh, from Piero Ferrari, who I've known for 20 years, and uh, a lot of the people at the factory. So. And with, with many of the things that we see on screen, the props, right. the detail of the film, you're known for, for being a very detailed filmmaker. Can you tell us what we see on screen? How did, how did you recreate that world? I imagine it's very detailed. The, uh, the entire film was shot in Modena, and Modena looks exactly, uh, Rome was Modena, the Ravenna, where the, uh, ch the drive through church is, is, is Modena. The, um, the most, one of the most difficult things to do was, was, was the cars, because they had to be safe, they had to be very fast, they had to go about 140 miles an hour, and they are extraordinarily valuable. The, 
uh, actual car that Tarufi won in sold for $70 million in Pebble Beach in, in 2017. So we were, we were building cars. The, um, the Maserati, by the way, that Bayrod drives in, in, the, in the beginning, the single-seater, uh, that's um, Nick Mason's car. Uh, and he that's actually, that's an actual historical vehicle. He raced in historical races. But everything else we, we recreated with a lot of cooperation from, uh, you know, from the factory. That's amazing. So the, the cars that we see were, were built with Ferrari, they, for the, the Ferrari team they're, oversaw they're them. Exact, the shapes are like 3D LiDAR scans. It takes about two days on real cars. And then uh, we designed a, a, a chassis working with Neil Layton, who's a fantastic engineer who built the Batmobile. And, um, we designed a chassis and powertrain, and uh, and then then had hand beaten aluminum body panels on the car done by uh, Luigi Campana, who is a Maserati restorer in Modena. And um, and when we needed something in a hurry, we could call Gabriella Lali at the factory. He could bring over a couple of engine blocks that are real engine blocks. So we uh, and we were the benefit of a lot of a lot of help. It's the, the detail is incredible and, and the film is wonderful. Um, I can't thank you enough for sharing your film with us here in London this evening. Um, it's a thrilling film and um, you, I just want to say thank you very much right. for bringing it here to London. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Yeah. Thank you.